Hello everyone, my name is Nellan and welcome to another Do It Night Abyss video. Today I want to talk to you about an easy way to calculate your damage and be able to compare build A to build B. Let's say if you want to compare a full skill damage build on your outsider to a full resolve build on your outsider and see what is actually better because due to the slot track system it is sadly not possible to just do that because i have those tracks to fit in the four volitions right now and the resolves have different tracks needed that way i'm unable to actually straight up test it even if i switch this the tracks stay on it and it is pretty horrible for actual testing which if devs are watching this guys how about slot track presets um please thank you but yeah let me actually show you how you can do this very very easily okay so we are at bohead.g this is the website for all your dna information pretty much you know and the most important thing that they added recently is the attribute optimizer they also have the damage formula guide if you have a uh, a brain which i do not so i'm not even looking at that i'll take the easy way out which is this optimizer now let me quickly explain it to you this optimizer pretty much compares two builds with each other and tells you how is the damage difference of the two builds and what build is better now how to use this i'll show you real quick first off you pick your trial rank minus 59 right now then you pick what kind of damage you want to actually check out. You want to do weapon, skill or consonants weapon. I'm doing skill right now. Then what scaling do you have? I'm scaling with attack. And then what's your current HP, which is going to be used to calculate the resolve and morale. For now we keep it at 100. Then on weapon buffs. My weapon gives me 6% attack. On both builds I use the same weapon, so I use it on both. By the way, build A is the full HP morale skill damage build and build B is the resolve focus build. Then here on the character demon wedges, I have the 18% elemental attack on both, say 267 attack on both also because they use the same. And then here comes the difference. You have 18% morale with 252% skill damage. And here I have 27 resolve plus this, this is including weapon stats, by the way, on this one. So the difference here is that I have uh, way more skill damage here because I give up skill damage to get way more resolve here. And by the way, the weapon here is only the 5% resolve. I'm not using the 8% resolve you gain by ulting here because you're not always going to have that active and it would kind of make the testing a bit uh, weird. Then on ally buffs, I have the 5% resolve from truffle. I'm using truffle as my buffer here and 75% damage boost from her skill. And on passive buffs, I'm not using anything. Other okay, guys, me from the future here, uh, something I forgot to talk about is the passive buffs. What you input in the passive buffs is pretty much anything that you passively gain, like maybe you gain some stats from the entrants or you gain some stats from upgrading your skills, like here, the 50 attack from here, you're going to input this to the passive buffs. Let's say you want to calculate you ulting and you gaining those attack speed boost and resolve boost, you can input this into the passive buffs. Things like uh, you want to test maybe how good the weapon is, so this weapon. You can input the 8% into the passive buffs. So if you want to just test something like differently, you can just use the passive buff section to just input those either temporary stats or just something else you just want to test. But yeah, that's pretty much it about the passive buffs. Just want to quickly talk about that. But yeah, let's continue with the video. So. This is what I'm comparing at 100% HP. The morale build is pretty much dealing 44% more damage, which makes sense because resolve is not working at all here. Then we tune it down a little bit. We go down to like 75%. And you see it's now a 30% difference. It means resolve is slightly starting to scale, but morale still pulls ahead. So let's go down to like 50%. What happens now? And still, morale is 9 percent better still and resolve is struggling 
So now we go again and pull it down again to like uh, 30%. At 30% resolve is 11% better. And now we can try and find the break point where resolve starts to get better. It's around 40%. So you need to be with those stats that I have right now here. This is only for me. It's not like overall for every single character. Because some characters get more resolve here and there. You start to scale more on the skill damage side at least if you are under 40 percent hp with a resolve build and if you're at zero hp you have 22 percent more damage with the resolve build on the skill cider i call him a skill cider but i mean outsider uh with the resolve build which is pretty hard to upkeep because if you have truffle and your team buffing you you're gonna be healed like crazy insane amount of healing uh, you're gonna have way easier time to stay 100% hp all the time pretty much high hp all the time no problem that's why this build just is way better because if you had max hp you just do more damage pretty much it's just more consistent right but this is pretty much how you compare two builds and where you can try and fine tune main max and find out maybe some niche, maybe some insane build that nobody thought about because we didn't have testing beforehand. But now we do have optimizer for your skill, attributes and overall stats. So yeah, again, uh, thanks for Boyhead for making this tool. And it's going to be very helpful for me and many others because I do like to min-max quite a lot. And I'll be using this quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, if it helped you out, Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, as always, that helps me out a lot. And make sure you tune in into my Twitch. I stream daily, I stream very long, and I am here to help. So, if you need some help, make sure to tune in to my Twitch, and I'll see you there. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.